So this is the micro bit ring bit car by Elect Freaks. Um, it's for ages seven plus uh, beginner product. Um, so this company contacted me and asked me to do a review of this and unboxing. I didn't haven't seen this before really. Um, don't really know much about it. Um, so it sports make code, wireless control, pocket size, uh, acrylic case. So you can study Python, do it yourself. Um, looks pretty cool to be fair uh, line following light bar infrared um, quite a nice packaging so let's see if we can so nice little case uh, it doesn't come with the micro bit so we've got a little screwdriver uh, some little components the actual body uh, wires and screws and diodes and cool pretty cool what's this uh, a control board to mount the micro bit to okay. and let's have a look at the manual so micro bit ring bit car instruction manual so this is pretty so a list of everything it comes with, two servos, caster wheel, left and right board, baseboard, wheels, two wheels, board, backboard, front board, loads of little screws, rivets. So it looks like it's going to be quite cool to put together. And the instruction manual is actually quite, quite nice. It's quite high quality to be fair. You know, it's, I mean, it's, a, I think it's a Chinese product. But still, attach the case or wheel on the chassis. So we're going to go through this now and see if we can build this um, build this uh, ring bit car and get it working. But pretty excited. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to take the left and right board and the servos, and they get screwed on using the uh, little pointy screws. So these are the um, tapping screws, which uh, it comes with six of these. They're a little bit fiddly to get attached, um, so just take your time, get them lined up, and then just tighten them up. Don't over tighten, or it could crack the uh, the left and right side board. So you need to do the same with uh, both of these. So one for the left, one for the right. To be honest, it's a it's a pretty nice little kit. Uh, the instructions are pretty easy to follow. Um, didn't come with a micro bit, but I think the, there is an option on the website to to buy it with a micro bit. And we'll go over the price of these and where you can get them from um, at the end. So I've done I've done one. I'm just uh, just sorting out the other side now. Make sure you keep your cables out of the way because you don't want to put a screw through them. It's nice that it comes with a little little sort of Phillips head screwdriver. So you're having to root around and find one for yourself. Okay, so there's four four little tapping screws that need to go into this, two on each side of each servo. And just like I say, don't over tighten. You then um, attach each wheel, so you need two wheels, uh, one for the left, one for the right, and the flattest side goes onto the servo, they sort of dip in the middle um, on one side. And then just two tapping screws through there to, to tighten them on. And 
again, don't over tighten or it will crack the plastic. Okay, once that's done, that is uh, step one complete. And I'll just show you sort of front on. That's what it should look like. Okay, so the next bit is um, just constructing the, the plastic um, uh, baseboard and attaching the caster wheel. So that's really easy. Just fits on and there's two pop in um, pop in uh, like rivets that will hold it together so just pop those on and then we'll start to hopefully construct the frame so it's very much like um, I don't know if you've ever bought one of the cheap um, Raspberry Pi screens and it comes with like a little case same sort of plastic as that um, same sort of construction so they will just pop together you can see there that the uh, the front boards going on and the backboard so that's the backboard I'm doing now and then the front board it's pretty pretty easy to to sort of work out how it all clips together use a bit of common sense look at the instructions okay a um, little bit tight to get in so just very very gentle pressure um, don't over force it you don't want to crack crack it um, and that's that so we're on to the next stage and um, that is the special expansion board so this goes on the bottom now I should have really done this during the previous step but it's pretty easy to just pop one side out and just slot it in it's probably actually easier than doing it as you go so that just goes on like that two holes to the front with the switch um, in the down facing down towards the the base of the car um, and then just clip it back together the little switch um, there's an expansion pack that I'll talk about later that you can buy but if you just leave the switch set to the rainbow LEDs um, which is so as we can get some stuff programmed um, just with the base pack that they've sent me so that's that then what we're going to do is um, move on and we're going to get the, the rest of it sorted. You need to feed the wires back up and through. Um, you can, it's just, I just found it easy to do it this way rather than try and get the, the wires through while I was putting the case together. And make sure you keep them left to left, right to right. So the car's left, car's right. Um, this is um, this is going to clip into the the micro bit. So this is the sort of extension extension cable. And that just clips into the expansion board. So it's a jumper wire essentially. And that just pushes in. There's only one way it can go, so just pop that into the the expansion board. The binding post just unscrews and then just slides through. Slide through from either side. Doesn't make any difference. Just make sure the wires are out of the way and underneath it. And then just use the, the little screw that's on the end of it just to pop through one side and just uh, screw it up. Finger tight and then you can use the Phillips head screwdriver just to tighten that.
and so far so good it's looking pretty good it's really easy kit to build really nice so now we are moving on to the actual sort of the ring bit and this just attaches the micro bit attaches to this um just using the screw the not the um don't use the tapping screws okay just use the the, the standard screws with the the flat tips um to screw these on i found this a little bit fiddly to be honest um, it's probably just fat fingers, but uh, yeah, just literally just take your time. Don't over tighten it. It needs to obviously have contact just to just to hold it in place. Um, but obviously, you tighten it too much, you, you risk cracking your micro bit, and you don't want to do that. Sort of a key theme running through is just don't over tighten anything. Really nice little kit for um, anyone looking to get into sort of like just a little bit of sort of beginners programming and um, It's a bit more hands-on than the um, The DF robot that I sort of reviewed in my last video because obviously there's a there's a lot more building to it a lot more construction DF robot is just um, It was more sort of clipped together. This is this actually requires a little bit of uh, tinkering which isn't a bad thing. That then just slots into the front board, lines up pretty nicely, just clips in. Okay, um, I'm gonna pop, take it back off and pop some batteries in. I forgot to put the batteries in. Uh, uses uh, AAA batteries, got some energizers. Let's see how long it lasts. As soon as you put the batteries in, you'll get some LEDs on top light up. And then just plug it into the front. It's nice that it just clips on and off, so as you can obviously unclip the micro bit to attach it to your to your PC or Mac or whatever it is you're using to um, to flash your code onto it. Now the wiring, um, so the extension cable. This is the the red the uh, one that plugs into the middle, so into the board on the bottom. That goes onto the car's left. Uh, with the three little silver things on it facing down then the left servo goes in next with the three silver things facing up so it goes yellow red brown and then the right one goes into the obviously the right side face with the three little connectors facing up as you can see on the video okay you can then tuck all those wires into the back so we're on to tutorial one and this is called full speed ahead. So this is just getting it to move forward and back. You'll need to go to the microbit website and uh, click let's code. I'll put the link in the description. Click the orange button. Okay, so we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna have to add an extension. Go to the cog, go to extensions and type in ring bit. or ring bit car and then you'll see this icon click it and that will add the ring bit commands um, to your code environment we're going to click this and we're going to start to code so we'll get rid of the forever and we can have on start go to ring bit and then you want the top option to set pin one and set pin two and that's fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do input I'm going to select on button a press and we're going to select another input and we're going to have on button B press okay go back to ring bit car and go straight at full speed on button A and then on button B we're gonna have um, reverse at full speed and that's the program complete and we'll be able to get our car to go back and forth so we'll save this to the micro bit so I'm just gonna drag the hex file on I haven't paired the micro bit with my PC um, yet but you can check out how to do that in my other video on updating the firmware on the micro bit so I'm just going to drag this uh, onto the micro bit, get the Windows Explorer open and just drag it on. 
Um, once I do that, the micro bit will restart and the program will be loaded onto the micro bit. That's just copying, so that's copied. Micro bit's restart, and there we go. You can see it's going forward, hit the button, goes back, hit A, forward. This thing looks really cool. You know, it's really simplistic. They sell some of the components separately, so you could buy just the components and 3D print your own sort of um, design, which is quite a cool idea. Um, but it just looks looks quite cool. I think kids are going to love it. So that's the ring bit car sort of build and introduction. It's a really nice product. It's um, great for sort of getting started with a little bit of engineering with the build, a little bit of programming with the micro bit. So I've only shown you obviously the first tutorial going forwards and back. Just check out my next video, um, which should be up tomorrow for the other tutorials. And um, this is where you can get it from. So I'll put the link in the description. It's $22.90. You can, you're covered by PayPal. If you check out with PayPal, the uh, guarantees. Um, so yeah, just a really nice starter product. It's, it is easy. It's definitely sort of a creative idea. Um, and some of the stuff you can do is, is really cool. They sell some expansions so you can get it to do line following, a little expansion kit to do line following, um, which is cool also infrared sensing um, and we're gonna do some other stuff sort of getting the LEDs working and um, having a look at the the pen tool so we can attach a pen to this and get it to draw some shapes so really nice product um, I would highly recommend you checking it out especially if you're in the education sector um, primary or secondary um, the servos seem pretty stable and pretty nice so uh, yeah give it a go so that's the Ringbit car by Electro Freaks. Check out the description below. You'll find a link to the product. You'll find a link to the Facebook support group for the product and also the Microbit Let's Code website. Um, remember to hit that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button now. Come back um, and check out the other tutorial video that's uh, coming and see what the Ringbit car can really do. Um, it's a great product. Really like it. Thanks for watching.